All right, training time, Tanner. Training time. Are we all system all all lights red? <laughs> all lights are red. Okay. I got my squat shoes here. Oh, it's like a coming home party for you then, isn't this, it? This will be my first lifting session at Massonomics Gym in. You've been here several times. Oh, yeah, here all the time, but um, it's usually a quick trip. Um, I honestly don't remember the last time I even lifted here. I don't know. It might be. It might be almost a year. And you've already been here for almost three hours today, <laughs> <laughs> which isn't unusual for our normal, uh, our normal uh, schedule. Something like that. I'm I'm here for several hours before we start lifting, yeah. or, and, and then I don't lift. Yeah. So Ooh. we did. Uh, we were doing a bunch of videos and taking pictures of a new drop that came out, and I'm actually wearing the shirt even. Yeah. This is so gonna get hot right off the, yeah, right off I the had to ditch my pants no pants zone over here it uh, is it is a lot colder in here than what i'm used to for uh, lifting yeah off. yeah the new commercial gyms probably keep them closer to 70 where it might be yeah. about 65 in mm -hmm. in the dungeon uh but i do have the chicken bake shirt on 52 grams of protein instant classic yeah so if you haven't seen the chicken bake shirt yet well i'm sure you've seen the chicken bake shirt but make sure to check it out and grab yourself one it's uh all the new hotness but we are also about a month out from the Arnold, so this is one of our, one of our uh, big Arnold prep training sessions. I, I kind of say once you're a month out from the Arnold, you can't hold anything back. No, we have to stop holding back. Uh, we are only a month out from the Arnold, though, which is crazy. Like today, we're like a month. We'll, we, we'll be at the Arnold in a month, right? <laughs> actually, that actually is crazy that that's yeah. that close. <laughs> uh, so we have that. But what are you going to do for training today? I'm going to do a little squatting. I've been... Uh... I've been doing pause squats almost exclusively for the past two or three months, and it's actually gone really well for me. And I think it's time, my back's feeling great, that's why I do pause squats, is to yep. give my back a little break, you know, keep that, keep that uh, stimulus high without hurting my back too much or taxing my back too much. But um, yeah, I'm going to start to switch it out to actual squatting and... Uh, so ease is, that, back are, into this. is that what you're going to do today? Yeah, or? I'm going to do oh, actual yeah. squatting. So yeah. no, nothing too heavy because I'm just getting yeah. back into it. But um, Rome yeah. wasn't built in a day. You don't want to get too big all at once. No, no, you got to save something for next week. And uh, yeah, I have had some minor hip pain lately, so I'm kind of navigating my way through that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's <laughs> you roll with the punches, right? Hashtag submaster. Oh god, it never ends. I'm going to do, I think, uh, some elevated deadlifts today on the Texas Power Bar. Just a little lift I've been doing lately, no particular reason. I was telling you I'm weighed in this morning at the lightest I've been in well over a decade. I weighed it on the scale at 246. That is insane. Yeah, so 246 I... pounds. I used to hover in the 260s regularly, and some sometimes before competitions, a few of them I got above 275. I got like to 285 in one competition, I think. And I weigh about 208 right now. So yeah. the fact that we're basically within 40 within pounds, four, we're within uh, one plate of each other. Yeah. And that is insane yeah. to me. I, yeah, that's crazy. I don't know if I want to be this. I don't know where I really want to be, but I, I've been doing a lot more running because of playing basketball. My diet really hasn't changed that much. Mm -hmm. So I think it's just from burning more calories. Which makes sense. Yeah. Um, but I don't want to take, you know, I don't want to take it to the basement here. I'm trying to, I yeah. need to level it off at some point in time. Or build back up, right? Build back better. There we go. 2024. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hashtag Massonomics build back better. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to, we're going to train today. We'll uh, see what everyone thinks of the co-training uh, um, vlog. Yeah, yeah, you know, they're really not going to meet in a commercial gym. Right. Which would just they be still a, The people still want that. Though. They do still want that. And it might happen someday, but it is a nightmare to try and yeah. <laughs> The idea of me doing this in a commercial yeah. gym. Here we're in a semi-commercial gym. Yeah. <laughs> semi-commercial. Yeah. This is like a commercial for Massonomics, yeah. so it's a different kind of a commercial gym. Yeah, yeah like very, very <laughs> commercial in the in the sense of transacting something. Uh, so are we gonna do warm up and get going here? Yeah, I suppose. Okay. All right. Can't get done if you don't get started. That's right. <laughs> I've been waiting to do this one. I've been yeah. excited for this. Adding my pin to the map. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, it looks like maybe, has there been anyone with a Sioux So Mo pin? put a Brookings pin in. You okay. re recognize the Brookings pin? That one is a Vermilion pin. Yeah, okay. I was wondering um, if it was Yankton or Vermilion. That might be. What, I don't, what's over here? That's a little to the west, Okay, though. we'll say that someone okay. from the west well, And I live in. on the east side of okay. Sioux Falls. So right. this is an right. eastern yeah. 
That's that is an Eastern Sioux. Falls I don't know pin. what the intention of that pin was for sure. You know which one of the Brookings is, and you know the yep. Vermilion. The one in question there is that one in between them. Yep, I'm quite close to the Iowa border, so okay. if it looks like that's almost in Iowa, it's it's me. Uh, the map's starting to fill up a little it's bit. Growing. Yeah, it's growing. Yeah, I like it. Pretty Midwest centered still, but I know in, once July comes, that'll really fill up yeah. a lot more once we get the lift here. I like that. That's a fun. That's a fun piece. That is the guy fun. who got that was really thinking. <laughs> I don't know who that was. <laughs> Oh, this is where all the action happens, though, isn't it, Tommy? <laughs> it is. Classic line when you come through that door. Here we go. <laughs> Warm-up time. I hit, I hit more. I'm actually, at this very moment, not doing Juggernaut. Um, assuming no surprises happen in my training, I'll probably get back on Juggernaut in the next month here, maybe yep. even less, because things are going good. Um, but for my warm-up, I'm pretty much doing a... Uh, you a, use most of the juggernaut warm-up. I basically warm -up, so. use the juggernaut warm-up, yeah. I think most people that do it long enough, you just take the things that you think are the most effective, and you're like, yep, I'm going to do those. Yeah, and uh, for me, that starts with just a lot of sitting in the squat position because yep. it feels good. Um, what bar are you going to use today? That's, I actually think I'm going to use the 29mm Texas Power Bar. Okay. I've, I've had my eyes on that uh, one for a while Have you ever now. used it for anything? I've never used yeah. it, no. That's the biggest choice when you come is what bar to It use. is. Uh, You've probably I, only got like 10 new ones since the last time you I, I actually have been thinking about that. We recorded some videos today, so I'm almost I'm almost loose from the video recording, Tanner. That's true. We did uh, do a lot of like pretend squatting in the videos and yeah. pictures, so I got a little bit warmed up. I got a pretty crazy burn holding that camera in front of you for ten straight <laughs> minutes. is a, is a <laughs> odd isolation yeah. exercise, and then when you do that multiple times in a row, you start to feel that. Texas Power Bar. I am gonna take the Gen Five Texas Power Bar for a spin today. I'm gonna go with Gen Four. Now the gym I used to be at had, and I don't think it was the Chewy Bar, but it had an American barbell. Ah, brand, an American barbell brand bar. Would, yes, you, go, but, would you get that one? When oh, you I'd, I'd seek it out whenever I yeah. could. The gym I'm at now does not have one like that, so I've been severely, I can tell you right now, the snurling is almost intimidating touching this. It's so different yeah. than I'm used to. I've been uh, doing these elevated, deadlifts with the Texas power bar, just in case I ever come across a strongman competition where they have an elevated deadlift. <laughs> in case one were to just pop yeah. up. For, just in yeah. case. Well, you know, you and do if always spot, want to be ready. If a spot ever opened up, then I could just be ready for it. Just in theory. Like, That's a lot of hypotheticals. Yeah. So. Like if, you know, who knows, in the summertime, whatever, whenever. Just in case. And I like to do just a bunch of barbell. Barbell, oh man, already. I can just feel the way that grabs my shirt. Looks easy. The way it grabs that brown varsity mm -hmm. shirt as seen at massonomics.com. Hear that crack? I definitely heard some popping on that first rep. <laughs> Surprisingly, there's like about a good four pops in there. My knees always feel good, but yeah. they are getting more audible as time goes on. <laughs> Especially without music playing, there's a lot of snap, crackle, pop going. So, do you know what you'll try to do today? Um, I'll probably do five sets of five at like two. 55, 265-ish, and then uh, I'll probably run pretty linear with that for the next month. Yep. And then assuming that that is feeling good, that's when I'll get Juggernaut in with a um, hypothetical meat date, you know? Yep. Oh, nice clips. Actually, just the feeling of sliding bar, plates like this on a bar is, <laughs> has been missed. How do those, uh, like, would you say those feel smooth? And <laughs> do they feel really smooth and easy to grip? I would say both of those. Yeah. What are you gonna go up to? Ah, uh, 435, assuming my back and everything feels good. I'm on my second wave of this. First wave through, I went, I do, I'm doing on this wagon wheel, I'm doing three sets of five. This is my secondary deadlift day. 
I'm not really squatting very much right now, so I'm doing a little extra deadlifting. So I'll do three sets of five. Last time I finished my fourth week, my heaviest one at 465. So this time through, I'll finish that at 475. And it's not that hard for me. Yeah. But I'm not really using it at like, it's just my second, it's just, it's giving me something to do when I can't squat very much. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't need to But totally I still want it to go up, up a little bit, even yeah. though I'm like, not trying to push it like it's yeah. a hard competition. Right, but. right. And also, I just want to be really ready in case there's ever any like. Like if a strong I mean, it was to pop up out of right. nowhere. Yeah. Right. And if there was a spot, if I knew the people that to be able to get a spot, I just want to be ready. And the for meet it. was within like 200 miles of here. Right, right. Just in case. Yeah. Like I don't have anything in mind, but if something like that on July 20th came up, then I could be ready. I don't think that's a weird training right. request to, right. to accommodate something like that. I would add, I hate this height. This is not a competition height of deadlift, but I just use this out of simplicity on these. Uh -huh. And this is harder for me than uh, deadlifting off the ground. I totally agree. I'd be the first to tell you I'm not a deadlift expert, but yeah. I always hated that height versus off the floor. Yes. I felt like that was my, I mean, that was when I missed lift, that, that's where I missed them. Was, yes. You know, just below the knee right around yep. there. So that, yeah, that height's not high on my list. Kind of being those cycles with no music right now, aren't we? Feels a little weird. Feels a little weird. Doesn't it? A little bit, but I have been at the point lately where I don't even, I was telling you, I don't even throw headphones on in the gym, so it doesn't feel that far off. I rely me. less and less on music the yeah. more I, although if I'm, depends on what I'm doing too. If I'm. Yeah, if I need to get really focused. Yeah, I, that helps. Yeah. Situational dependent. we go. But I usually do, I do three sets of these, but then I do two sets of squat afterwards. Mm -hmm. So, cause what will you do after this? I'll go to two plates and then I'll probably go to my working weight. And you're so. doing five sets. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm going to do basically five work, five sets of three of deadlift and two of squat. So and lately for me in the name of speed, my, uh, a lot of my Training sessions from the time I get into the gym to the time I leave are an hour, sometimes yeah. even less. So that's all. I get huffing and puffing probably more than I would like to, but it's just what I've had to do lately. Turn that or whatever uh, to here. Got some new stra straps. These are from Belt Fed Strength. Oh. Uh, some deadlift straps. These are Those supporting member. Heavy yeah. duty, actually. Supporting member from Belt Fed Strength. Yeah, nice. So I've been trying these out. Yep, it's a deadlift. There you go. Yep. Easy. Yeah, buddy. One done. Nothing to it. Oh, it feels good. That really hurt my back last week. Really? Yeah. When you, okay, so when you say hurt, is it just taking a toll on your back or something actually does hurt? No, there was something screwed up with my okay. back. Like before I even started, just even getting warmed up, I'm like, ugh. But I knew it wasn't major. So I was really hoping it would just go away. Yeah. And it did. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh, squats feel way better when you don't pause those, at the bottom. Those look easy. Yes, I'm not tired. There's no sense in waiting for the heck of it. <laughs> Sometimes I just have to make myself do the next set because I'm yeah. like, I could just stand around a little bit. And then I'd, I'm like, if I'm in a hurry, why am I, what am I waiting for? If I'm in a hurry, I try to look at the clock right yeah. after a set and be like, okay, I have to go on this time. Yes. And that's kind of my accountability check is. Yeah. How much I'm honoring that. Here we go. 
<clears throat> yep. Oh yeah. What'd you say that is? 435. What do the wagon wheels weigh? They're a, four, they're a plate. Oh, they are, okay. Which is nice. Okay, I can This might be my favorite part about them is they just are a plate. Yeah. My bench is possibly the weakest. It's been a long time. I'm also the lightest I've been in over a decade. So. Yeah, yeah, you want, want your bench to go up, just get bigger and. Yeah. getting kind of annoying. You know you're hitting depth once the microphone hits the ground. <laughs> I think that's the old saying, isn't it? <laughs> okay, my last one of these. God, these feel good today. It's good having an accountability partner for helping speed <laughs> this up too, because it's like, well, it's my turn. I haven't lifted like that for a while. Yeah. That crew falls, I guess, was like that. But there again, I had a good lift. Mm -hmm. It's good having a... It, is, it makes a difference though. Yeah. Where it's just like, nope, I have to go now. Not just, uh, no, nope, I could go when, I could literally do this whenever I want to. Uh -huh. Why don't I just wait 30 more seconds? Oh yeah. Yep. There you go. I see the one wheel has a little kink they in the both bottom, have, they, they've been flat spotted. They're both, they're kind of <laughs> shitty, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you when get, you look at it, yeah. it's not, it's definitely not I think it's from people dropping it. Yeah. But they're also, I think it's from them being shitty tightened ones. Uh-huh. I'm in a state of super recovery. You know, I come to town, I don't have any kids to worry about. I just go to bed and sleep like I've never slept before. So I'm practically peaked right now. <laughs> You're peaked just because you got one good night's of sleep. <laughs> I'm peaked because I slept. <laughs> yeah. You got like eight good hours of sleep, yeah. like uh, uninterrupted. Close to nine, actually, yeah. which is that's when, good. Isn't it weird when you wake up and you're like, wow, I feel rested. Yes. And I'm not, I don't, I'm not the guy that likes to sleep in. Right. Um, like I've I, naturally, you know, sleeping till eight, no matter what, is a stretch for me. Yep. But, uh, yeah, the alarm went off at seven today and I just felt like a million bucks. Oh, this is the best squats I've felt for me in a very a long, long time. time. This is just my introductory back into squatting a little bit. After this second deadlift day, I just do two sets of, I think five, safety squat bar on the slant beltless. Uh -huh. And that's my, that's all I'm doing. I'm like, can I just do two sets of five every week on this easy variation, or Light variation, not easy, but. And yours is in the name of hips, right? Right, yes, 100%. Oh, what's this do? 45, one. There you go. <laughs> it's funny when you do that, you can see the, the wedge and the plate both going up and down uh -huh. a little bit. Oh, like <laughs> moving a little bit, yeah. Like this mild trampoline yeah. effect. Um. There we go. One more. There you go. Yep. 
Yep. You know, the other thing that's weird, I have been the last several months now squatting in front of a mirror. Oh. And so now to not How have that. How does that feel? Actually, I don't. That, not, it didn't even dawn on me until that set. Yeah. So I guess that's how much of a non-factor yeah. it is. And I do remember back in the commercial gym days when lifting into a mirror, looking at yourself and just looking like I am dying right now. Right. And I don't really, I feel like I'm not, You're not the, looking yeah, at myself right, anymore. Right. Or if I am, I'm just blurring it. Right. Like not focusing. I don't yeah, even. You probably know what the, you're focusing on yeah. your lift more. So you're not even I feel like, like if anything, I'm looking at my chest. Right. And then you might as well be looking at the wall. Yeah. <laughs> Would you say you're auto-regulating? I am gonna auto-regulate because my hammies are just like, not hurt, but just straight up sore. And I'm Some like, people would say you're just, I'm just, I guess I'm just chasing the pump, but <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, last last set. It's like I always say, if you got all these weights every once in a while, you just gotta lift them though. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here we go. There you go. Yep. Nice. There we go. Those look really good. Yeah, it's. I mean, even. It's pretty easy. I haven't seen you squat a ton lately, but yeah. as far as I remember, I'd say that's as good as a squat's ever that's, looked for you. It's only 275. Yeah, but still. Yeah, it's. But it. It, uh. Like that really, I don't know what to say about my hip on that. Like, it's not like that hurting my hip, mm -hmm. but it's even like what you talked about. Like when you're just aware of something, yes, you have to always think about it. But so far I'm feeling like I can get, a, get, can get away with two sets of four. Yeah. And if I can still deadlift hard, mm -hmm. I think it'd take me a long time, but I think I can actually make progress on my squat even with just a little bit. Yeah. Do you think that wedge helps quite a bit too? Um, I mean, I know it puts, you know, more, more stress onto the quads, but that's part of it. I think of what I'm doing is I just do enough stuff that the weight can only be so heavy and then it doesn't affect my, it gives it's, it's hard for me, but it's still giving my hip a break because it's not putting on 400 pounds. Yep. I did say they do feel really good right now. Yeah. That is my first day in. Right. Uh, God, since May, actually doing just straight up squats. <sighs> what do we got now? What do you got now? I'm not gonna do too much else. So what are you gonna do next? You said, you're, are you gonna do incline bench? I'm gonna hit some incline. So are you gonna do, will you do incline over there? Yeah, I'm gonna do incline over there. What bar will you use there? Uh, I don't know, I'll pick something off the rack. I'm not right. totally sure yet. And then- <laughs> I'll uh, just take something off the rack, it's fine. I actually have been adding in reverse hyper. I've actually been doing single leg reverse hyper yeah. uh, every week. And I think that that is making a difference. Louis Simmons was onto something, wasn't He's he? He's onto something. I, I like to do single leg because double just feels like it's really easy to cheat it. Reverse uh, hyper is one of those that I've never been able I haven't, I've tried it so many times and just haven't got there with it. Mm -hmm. And I know, but there's several people here who do it every week. Yeah. I'm sure there's something to it. Uh, glute ham raise is the one I always go to that I, I love the glute you know ham what? raise. I actually never even thought of that until right now. I, that used to be a staple and yeah. I haven't done that at this newer gym. I love the glute ham raise. Uh, yeah. I always have. That I was guess, always, though. that was one of my favorites too. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna take off here pretty soon. Tommy's gonna finish up. I'm kind of, I'm kind of scabbing out early, so I, yeah, I don't want to get too big all at once. You're kind of the thing. guy. You hit your main lifts yeah. and you say, see <laughs> and then you later. I scoot out of here. Uh, so I guess I'm gonna leave Tommy the keys to the gym. Trust him to hopefully lock up the place and 
not come home, uh, come back and the speakers are on the yeah. floor and uh -huh. things are broken. So don't mess up the sound All system. All the speakers the are blown just somehow when you come back. For the love of God, do not mess up the sound system. <laughs> uh, we got a lot of good YouTube videos coming up in the next mm -hmm. few weeks though, so make sure to be uh, nice subscribing. Of course you're subscribing. If you made it five hours into this video and you're not subscribing yet. Uh, what are you doing? Yeah. But we do, have, uh, we do have some really fun YouTube videos coming up that you're not gonna wanna miss. Mm -hmm. And the Arnold, Arnold. stay tuned for what the uh, Arnold is what right the around the corner. Us. Well, Tanner's gone. He's left me to the gym. So, I'm gonna see what I can do. I love this bench from Stray Dog. It's been a while since I used it, so I'm curious to see how it feels again. I also haven't inclined inside of a rack in quite a while, so it takes a little bit to remember what all your heights are on everything. Go with the Strength Co. Flag bar. That's what I like to call it. So I do really like this rack. And I know Tanner said this is, it's like the collegiate half rack or something from Rogue, but I do like how the footprint isn't huge on it. And you got the plate storage on there too. I can see how this would be a nice option for a home gym if you don't need a full, full cage, full rack taking up space. I've never pushed my incline super hard. I've never even tried to max out an incline before, but I do like it as an accessory. I always think it feels really good. I do think it does help bench a lot too. Next up, Got a little reverse hyper. I've actually never got to use this one. This is pretty beefy. And I like to go one leg, just a little warm up, go through the motion. Oh yeah, okay. Find a reverse hyper. One leg just feels like it's makes it harder to cheat the movement. You got two, it's pretty easy to start swinging. So one leg keeps it in control and uh, I can just feel it pretty good. I've been liking these lately. I can say that they have gotten a lot easier. I probably should start moving the weight up, but they do feel good where they're at. So, well, that is gonna do it for my day of lifting at Massonomics Gym. It's been, like I said, I don't know, maybe a year since I've actually lifted here. And uh, I miss it, felt really good. First day doing just squats again, felt awesome. Should be able to keep that momentum going, adding probably five to 10 pounds a week for the next month or so. And then I put a date on Juggernaut, keep things going there. Hopefully keep things moving up and up. Make the long drive all the way back to Sioux Falls. Got about three hours in the car. Grab some food on the way out of town. Qdoba sounds pretty good, but the problem with tacos in the car is I tend to make a big mess of it somehow, so I'm not sure what I'll get. I gotta think about that one. But overall, had a ton of fun here today. First ever training vlog I've ever got to do. 
Tanner and I shot a ton of YouTube videos. You'll be seeing those coming out over the coming weeks. Shot some photos for upcoming drop. Got a good workout in. That's a successful trip. I don't know what more you could ask for. Hopefully you guys liked the first ever training vlog featuring Tommy and Tanner. Hopefully get more of these in the future. See you guys.